Hello everyone! Today I want to tell about long pips by Dr. Neubauer Viper Soft 0.6 mm. On the TT Maximum site there is a review of these pips by Maxim Cherepnin. He reviewed passive and active play near the table, short pushes, passive blocks, active drives, etc. All of this is on the review. I completely agree with everything mentioned there. I think it's the most effective style for these pips. I'd like to review classical defense movements in details. Chops in the far zone, returns of serves and against flips. I tried these pips on blade I've been playing for a long time. My favorite blade by Red and Black Pride D. It's seven layer blade without carbon. There is medium flexibility and without vibrations. I'd like to note that Viper soft are soft and not slow. Pips are dense and have notches. As for me, pips have medium friction. Let's start with taking serves. As pips are not slow, you have to underspin all the long serves. You have to move legs as well, otherwise the ball will fly away from the table. The reason is the pips are aggressive in returns. It's also comfortable to take the back spin serve with short push. The ball here is slow, with weak underspin and doesn't fall in the net like curl P1R, Neptune or any other slow, long pips with good friction. All the short serves are tried to short push, though it's better to play drive, but it's up to you. I'd like to note that short push against no spin balls is surprisingly comfortable. Because with other pips short push against no spin balls is too high and goes away from the table. Or an opponent just smash such a high short push. As these pips allow super heavy underspin, the ball doesn't go high but have underspin. But without adding forward or return no spin ball. It depends on the hand move. If you chop heavily, there will be descent under spin. If you just push, the ball is high and no spin. As for loop return, pips don't allow best under spin after the very first loop. And if you have a chance and move properly, after the second chop the ball will be with heavy under spin and without an arch and the ball will land near the back line. Pips have good control in the far zone, though they are quite fast as for pips created for classical defense. If you chop with long pips forehand, due to the sharp speeding of elbow joint, I have much powerful reverse. More top spin you receive, Easy it to return on the table. It may be difficult only against no spin drives or flips, which you shouldn't chop aggressively, otherwise the ball will fly away from the table. As for flip after underspin, I want to highlight one thing. Speaking of the tendencies when playing with classical defenders of medium level, Opponents now usually don't play serious loop against long pips. After the first or second chop they try to push. Try to shorten the ball. So if after the drop against your chop and if you have enough time, it's comfortable to gain initiative with drive and serve the ball in the empty point. Probably in the direction of opponent's belly. As for high level players, defender punishes himself with this move. 
S receives the attack from that ball, high level opponents get that the ball is no spin. They try to serve no spin ball on long pips and you have nothing to do with it. I think it's more effective to underspin the push with Viper, when you will return long low ball almost with no spin. Or you may play short push with other rubber, serving good underspin. In such a game an opponent is always stressed. He receives either no spin ball at one arch or heavy underspin. So it's difficult for him to play fast power loop, so he plays the ball with medium spin and you have enough time to come back to the far zone and to play good chop. Defendants usually play active block against loop as well. And this movement is really great with Viper Soft 0.6. When opponent plays not spinny loop, but power loop, and you don't have time to run into the far zone, you may play active block. And opponent will fail, as the ball without jump off will fall. If an opponent manages to reach the ball, he has to flip lastly. I'd like to add, if you play not in classical defense style, but prefer chop blocks, flicks or lifting, you'd better choose pips without a sponge. As it's more effective, the balls are wobble and more difficult for an opponent. The most important is that these pips seem very well balanced. I can think about other pips on a sponge, which would be good in the far zone, and good near the table as well. So the rubber is for active game near the table, sometimes passive and active game in the far zone. I think the rubber is a bit fast for me. Maybe if to put them on slower blade, they will be much better in classical defense. For active play on the table, fast blades are required. I think it will be a good combination. That's all about pips Dr. Neubauer Viper Soft 0.6. You may buy rubber and blades mentioned in the video using the links below.
Вот, 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 вот,